guys, it's Catherine and this weekend I'm actually going on a little weekend getaway and I thought I'd kind of film it and just see what I could capture. I always love the idea of being able to capture memories. Basically, I live in Washington State and I live just outside of Seattle, Washington. However, I, you know, thanks to the pandemic that we're currently going through in 2020, I haven't really traveled in a while. I basically have a friend of mine that is living in the Seattle area in the fall and I thought we'd do some fun weekend trips. She's not local so she's kind of being a tourist and I honestly don't see much of Washington outside of like the greater Seattle area and I thought this would be a great opportunity to you know be kind of a tourist with her in a way and I bring in my dog and we are going to Woodby Island. So I have not really Washington State actually has, I think, the most amount of islands that a state in the U.S. has. Um, if you look at like the map of Washington, there's Seattle that's on the east side of Puget Sound, and then there's like all these islands in between, um, kind of Washington and the rest of it. I have probably include a map to make have it make more sense. But Woodby Island, I think, is one of the more well-known islands, and I've been wanting to go to one of the islands and just explore nature and see what there's to offer, kind of see the more small town kind of feel. We booked it, like, I think I want to say two weeks before the wildfires started, and we live in on the west coast. And so the wildfires have definitely, the smoke has definitely gotten to our area, and we had really bad levels of smoke, like... You had to stay inside you had to avoid going outside it just looked so smoky you could breathe in and like feel the air the air the smoke and it's finally starting to go down and it's gone down a lot today especially but it's still not quite like a healthy level and um yeah so we, you know we were kind of worried about that but it's starting to rain today so you know it's gonna make the fires go away, it's gonna make the smoke go away, it's gonna clear up the air, it's just gonna feel more fresh, you know, that the fresh air that rain brings. We'll see how it goes, but I think we'll make it work. I'll just bring umbrellas and a raincoat. Okay, I'm at PetSmart, about to pick up my dog Lola from the groomers. You guys, they have rabbits for adoption at PetSmart. Is this new? You didn't know I love rabbits and I've been wanting one, but I probably shouldn't get one until I actually can take care of it and come in. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they have rabbits here. Also, I don't have a hamster. I would love one, but probably shouldn't get all these pets without actually being able to care for them first. I already have a dog. I did semester at sea and this is like a ship hideout for a hamster. I would so get this if I had a hamster. Okay, I just got Lola from the groomers at PetSmart and this is her. You didn't really see it before, but she's a poodle and she was looking really, really fluffy and scruffy. Basically, she had um, eye surgery about five weeks ago and she got in her right eye. So here she had a cataract and that was removed and it went really well. As a doggy mom, I was nervous. And um, yeah, so I just kind of waited a little longer than usual um, between her haircuts to get it cut just because, you know, sharp things, blades, scissors, blah, whatnot. I didn't want that to get like in her eye. I didn't want to risk that. I'd rather her be, be like extra fluffy. Um, but I thought five weeks is a good amount of time to wait. She had, you know, really successful surgery. And um, I asked to the eye doctor and they said it was fine as long as you don't have like the blow dryer directly like blowing in her eye and to, you know, keep it moist. We've been giving her like eye drops three times a day. So this is her now and she's looking adorable. So normally poodles wait like four to six weeks to get cut anyway. So yeah, she's looking really nice. And now we're ready to go to Whippy. Well, we have to pick up my friend first. I thought I would give a little tour. So we're staying at this kind of artist loft is what it's called on Airbnb. And so I think the owner lives here and then like just kind of like a side unit or 
like a little space on the side of the house um, is something that they've converted to being Airbnb. So it's quite spacious for two people. I'm happy with it. We walk up and then I'm with my friend Annie. So it just has her name, which is really cute. So we know where we're going because we've never been here before. And it's my dog. Come on. Okay, close it to avoid bugs flying in. So it's called an artist's loft. So you've got like literally like a loft with all these colored pencils and like books. It's like really cute and artsy and people have left like notes, which is really cute. We might do that. Um, this is kind of an overview. It's very simple. Hey, Lola. So this is the bed, most important part. And then the kitchen is here, and then the bathroom is back there, but my friend's in the bathroom, so I won't show that. But, yeah. Here's kind of the skylight, which I'm afraid is going to wake me in the morning. <laughs> but it's very cute and artsy. So if you haven't been able to tell, I really like rabbits. I actually used to have two when I was in high school, and little did I know that the specific city of Langley, Washington, which is right where we were on this island, is known to have rabbits or bunnies everywhere. And I knew right away these don't look like typical wild rabbits. Typical wild rabbits are slimmer, and they typically are this kind of brown color. And I just see them here and there, you know, in Washington State or wherever. It turns out that there are hundreds of rabbits, specifically in Langley, Washington, but all over the island, because people have, over the years, just let their pet rabbits out. And, you know, rabbits tend to uh, multiply very, very quickly. And so those rabbits then multiplied with wild rabbits or even with other domesticated rabbits that people just let out. And now it's become almost a you know tourist attraction, which I had no idea about. All these bunnies are just another part of what makes Langley, Washington on Woodby Island just a cute small town. One fun thing I've always loved doing while growing up is in the Pacific Northwest, in certain beaches, there's these large rocks that have barnacles on them and it's just really sandy and the tide goes in and out, and when the tide is out, you can flip over the rocks and find all these little crabs. So that's what me and my friend were doing. She's from California, so she didn't know that, and my dog loved looking at the little crabs. And it's just something I haven't done in a very long time. So it was fun just being on the quest for finding crabs, I guess, and just enjoying the scenery. I just thought I'd give an update on my time at Woodby so far, what I think of it. I just went through a drive through and my dog now has associated drive throughs with whipped cream because there was like once or twice that Starbucks offered a puppuccino, which is just like a cup of whipped cream. And now every time we go through a drive through she remembers it. And so now I feel bad. I had to ask for whipped cream for her and she's now enjoying life. I got like a peach iced tea because I just wanted to get something. So. Anyway, I am only here for two nights, just like a weekend from like Friday to Sunday I'm here, but I got here like Friday night. Basically, my time at Woodby has been good. It's definitely like a small town. I live like right outside Seattle. And here it's like such a small town. I've really only been to the southern part of Woodby Island. They're all local shops here. There's no like chains that I've really seen. I tried finding like a place to get tea or like some kind of drink because I just wanted to get something and I couldn't find even a Starbucks or anything which is fine um, it's really a, a cute like small town vibe around here and it's really nice to just be here for the weekend and so yeah we walked around Langley and it was a nice small town area um, it was like off and on raining so I was a little unsure about like doing outdoorsy things in the rain but it stopped and so we were able to walk around we went down to the water 
and we kind of found like you know, we are just walking around the shoreline and like if you pick up the rocks, you'd see crabs as um, you saw earlier. That we were just like looking at crabs and just like, I don't know, walking around and enjoying nature and just kind of having a good time. A, a good socially distanced, safe weekend getaway because I really haven't traveled since New Year's, I want to say. I'm not going to count when I traveled back home um, from school because I was literally just traveling from like one home to another pretty much. Uh, because I lived on the East Coast up until I graduated this summer and yeah so my friend has another call right now and I thought I would um, not stay at the Airbnb but actually explore around so there's like an off-leash um, beach dog park for dogs so I'm thinking about going to that possibly because otherwise right now there's like grocery stores around me like an Ace hardware store I just got a peach tea um, so I'm just kind of seeing what's around. I also like driving, so it's been nice just driving around, seeing what's here, so. So I'm out here at a off-leash dog beach park, which is pretty cool. And they're like, all this wood piled up. And people like, they built like little houses. Like, look at that, I can go in there. I don't know, is it safe, will it fall? Should I trust this? Okay, I'm going in. This may be a bad idea. Like, look, I'm in like a little stick house. Look at all these people built houses. Like there's actual houses. And then there's these, I was just in this one right here. So, that's cool. There's this one. Looks like a giant triangle tent, kind of. Maybe I could go over there. Not sure. What was exploring? But yeah, just so much driftwood. That's the word I'm looking for. Driftwood. Oh, there's a giant chair over there. Okay, I am at the chair. It's giant, like my dog, but she's tiny too. So our Airbnb has a private beach. Like what, casual? I mean, they share it with their neighbors, but yeah, this is their beach. Um, we came from up there and we went down the stairs. It was a little steep, so I've never had access to a private beach like this. It's pretty nice. Wow. Casually has private beach, but they share with the neighbors, right? Yeah. 